Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media. Today we've got a different style of video, more topical, conversational one, and uh, we're gonna learn a little bit about me in specific. Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna try to, or I was recently thinking, I was like, huh, I wonder how much my listening habits have changed over the years. It's kinda hard to tell or give actual concrete statistical data on how much has changed, but I was like, I have a brilliant idea. Every year, Spotify gives you a Spotify wrapped and gives you your top 100 most played songs. So I went back and grabbed my playlist from 2017, 18, 19, 20, 21, five years of playlists. And I was like, let's take up all the songs, round up all the songs. I will give them a general genre. Uh, it doesn't have to be too specific, but a general idea. And then count them all up and see what my habits have changed. So that's what we have done. That's what I've done. And so we can see how much my listening habits have actually changed over the years. So uh, this will be interesting for me to go through. I've made all the data, but haven't really looked at it yet uh, in detail. So um, 2017 will start and you can see, I'll quickly kind of go through my, uh, you can kind of see an overview of stuff. Uh, we're kind of all over the place here. Uh, lots of kind of anything. There's some Post Malone in here. There's Maddion, Porter, Grant. There's like, this is probably the most, various year, my my one with a ton of variety, I think more so than anything would be um, this 2017 year. So um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's, that's 2017. Uh, and then because we need to compare, let's look at 2018 real quick. Uh, things changed a little bit. Uh, you can see I have a little more uh, pr pronounced style. Back in 2017, I had like kind of this acoustic alternative R&B, like an electronica, uh, and then like R&B here and future bass and then acoustic or and like it's kind of a little all over the place 2018 is a little more honed in on these kind of like electronica sound indie tronica Eden Tristam uh, Lots of that kind of stuff. It's a little more chill with a decent amount of rap here as well So uh, let's look at the numbers though So uh, we're only gonna focus on the number that changed by a lot something that changed by either five plus or minus because anything less than that is not much so uh, top of the list uh, I uh, listen to seven more indie tronica Tronica songs. Um, I have technically labeled Eden. I think it's Indie Tronica. I think that's the best for him. Uh, six more synth pop, uh, which is uh, like kind of like Churches is a great example of synth pop. Uh, some more trap. And uh, that's really much all that's changed from 2017 to 18. I've kind of started to get honed in on more of the artists that I enjoy. And uh, at the bottom of the list, uh, dropped off some indie dance, <laughs> dropped off some worship, uh, dropped off some indie pop, and dropped off a lot of indie. Um, so yeah, that's an interesting little notion there. Um, yeah, it's it's hard to really categorize everything exactly, but uh, yeah, that's uh, some big drop offs. I'm surprised, indie. That's a that's a decent amount. I'm trying to even figure out what I even categorize indie as. I think um, I would give indie as. Uh, it's, <laughs> I don't know, there's, oh yeah, like maybe uh, Listen to Your Mama is indie, like Pierce Fulton, oh, Bag Raider Shooting Stars is kind of indie, I would say, and I've also given multiple, uh, like, genres for one song if I felt it was necessary, but uh, that's that, so not a huge ton of changes, not a ton drastic one way or another, it gets a little different uh, year to year, so let's see 2019, uh, we got some <laughs> some stuff. We got Wishes, number one. Uh, Elenium, Good Things Fall Apart, some Grant, lots of Grant off the top. It's kind of, um, yeah, I don't even know what to say that, but then it gets a little all over the place. Uh, we've got some rap here. We've got some house. We've got some like trap future bass. We've got more rap. We've got some acoustic stuff with Matt Van. We're kind of a little all over the place again. Nothing too crazy similar. You can see the album art even just nothing looks super similar. Uh, but let's go see the actual stats from 2018 to 2019. Uh, house, house popped up uh, for me a lot more this year, uh, for sure. And dubstep, uh, increased the dubstep amount. Um, that was maybe thankful to Elenium, uh, but six more dubstep, uh, six more rap as well. And a hey, worship came back a little bit, five more worship. I guess 18 was just the year that went, it went down. Uh, so not much change, uh, adding up for 2019. Uh, but let's look at the back and the bottom half. Um, yeah, dropped off some Indietronica, Future Bass, Electronica, and Synth Pop. So that kind of more lighthearted instinct style of EDM uh, kind of dropped off for me in 2018, or into 2019, from 2018 to 19. So it's, uh, yeah, interesting. I've also labeled, like, Electronica is sort of like, 
Uh, Tristram's questions, I would say, is something like Electronica, Odessa's Electronica. Like, it's kind of hard to really categorize everything. I tried to be as broad as I could so that there wasn't a million different subgenres here. But uh, let's head into 2020. Uh, this year has a lot of change. So if you see, uh, we've got Run the Jewels and Eden and Joji, and there's a lot of that. Um, <laughs> some Steven as well. You'll see lots of Eden here. Uh, Run the Jewels, more of that's pink album art. Oh yeah, and lots of Tame Impala as well. So you've got a lot of very similar, <laughs> all the similar album arts this time. There's you can see some some recurring themes here. Every like fourth song is Eden here. So a Violence finally came out this year. It was a little lower on the list than I expected it to be, but that's where it ended up being. So that's kind of the general list of 2020. And from 2019 to 2020. My gosh, Indie Tronica shot up immensely. I think that is, I categorize Steven and Eden both as like Indie Tronica. So that's why it went up 19. <laughs> that's almost what, 20%? Um, yeah, that's that makes sense. <laughs> that's percentage. Uh, almost 20%. Uh, more psychedelic pop, which is kind of what I gave Tame Impala. And uh, six electro pop and six more poppy songs. So uh, Indietronica was a big, big year for me in Indietronica. That is for sure. Primarily thankful to uh, Eden and Steven. Uh, and then in the bottom half, uh, House took a big drop off with uh, down 13. So not not so much into House this year, I guess. Uh, funk kind of went down six a little bit. Funk was kind of like an additive to like a, like a therapy. What I would say is like a House and Funk or something like that. And uh, the Conroe's therapy. And uh, Trip Hop went down five. Rap went down five. Future Bass went down five. Dubstep down five. So a lot of the more kind of like all the areas of EDM went down a little bit, which makes sense because when you got Eden and uh, Steven and I can't tame Impala uh, and run the jewels, you're getting a lot more of that stuff, not so much of the other stuff. So uh, I'm surprised rap went down five considering I run the jewels was my number one song of the um, number one album of the year, uh, RTJ4. But I guess it's because I really only listened to just that album that year. Uh, and then let's look at 2021. Uh, lots of Tristam. Uh, so Tristam and Porter, you're gonna see a lot. A uh, decent amount of James Blake as well. Uh, Galamadius, I came back and loved this album. Galamadius is another one that I would kind of define as like electronica. Um, and Tristam's also like electronica and electro pop, a little bit of both depending on the song. So it's kind of hard to really nail down. And I don't love categorizing everything in specific genres, but for the purpose of this video, I think it makes sense. Um, Casbo, decent amount of Casbo, got some more rap with Kanye's, Donda, uh, just lots of Porter, lots of Tristan, Grant still always here in the mix, uh, still have a little bit of RTJ4 in here. So that was a, a lot of this year, uh, was pretty much defined by Tristan and Porter Robinson, which makes sense. So let's see our stats, yep, 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 yep. Uh, plus 20 on Electropop, plus 18 on Electronica. Uh, <laughs> yikes, that's a lot. And alternative R&B, uh, six, which is what I categorize James Blake as. I love that album. Uh, the Friends um, That Break Your Heart, fantastic. So this pretty much, these top three just defines Tristan Porter and uh, James Blake because I listened to those three albums so much. Um, and you can see it in the stats. Uh, and then the back end, um, Indietronica took a huge drop off because I'd stopped listening to uh, Eden and Steven that much this year because it was uh, plus 19 last year and uh, minus 20 this year. And then Psychedelic Pop, uh, I don't really listen to that kind of genre other than Tame Impala and none of them was on the list this year. So Tame Impala, Steven, that's the biggest... 20, 2020 was pretty much just defined by <laughs> Tame Impala, Eden, and Steven, and everything in the back on either end of it. 19 and 21 was, yeah, you can just see the differences. But uh, before we kind of finish off here, or not too, too close to being done, uh, let's look at Monster Cat, actually. The songs that I, uh, the songs from Monster Cat, how much did it change? So from 2017 to 18, I, uh, I gained six more songs, six more songs from Monster Cat I listened to from 2018 to 2019. And then 19 to 18, uh, I, I messed up the words about there, but 18 to 17, I listened to six more songs. To 19 to 18, I listened to five more songs. So I was gaining more Monster Cat and kind of hit the peak in 2019 with me listening to Monster Cat, at least on Spotify, uh, because 2020, it took a huge drop and went down 16, 16 less Monster Cat songs um, from 2020 uh, 20 to 2019. Again, that's partially thankful to how much I really listened to Eden, Stephen, and Tame Impala there. So I guess that makes sense. And uh, 
Yeah, and then uh, to 2021, it dropped down two more, and then to, or 20, yeah, 2021, it dropped down two more. So, yeah, kind of uh, did like a big ebb there, and uh, now we're not listening to as much Monster Cat. This, uh, my first year, or 2017, was uh, 23 Monster Cat songs. This past year was uh, 16, so not a huge difference, just a minus six over the past four years. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much that. Let's actually really quickly look at the 2021 to 2017. I know we're talking lots of years here, but the four year difference, what's the big differences here? Uh, well, electro pop, electronica and alternative R and B, uh, are my big ones that I've changed. I'd say more so than anything else. Obviously you can see the stats here. Listen, to, listening to a lot more electro pop now than I did back then. Primarily thankful to Tristam and Porter Robinson for sure. And then the bottom half, not as much indie, not as much indie dance, not as much future future bass, and not as much uh, alternative rock. All of that makes a lot of sense. I uh, listened to a lot of very like instinct style music back in 2017, 18, and uh, you can see that those numbers have really dropped off. So that's uh, that's the 2017 or 2017 to 2021. So I thought this was an interesting kind of thought experiment to go through. Uh, I know I said lots of numbers. So thank you if you followed me the entire way through this. This was kind of a um, video that I was like, you know what, let's let's try it out. But uh, if you can, I would implore you to do this in your own stats. If you have even last FM or Apple Music's plays or whatever, um, track your own stuff. See what changed uh, drastically from year to year. And uh, I enjoyed this. And I think this is a fun little, uh, not really a thought experiment, just a little thing to see. But uh, if you do this, let me know in the comment section below what kind of stuff has changed in your listening habits, uh, because mine does tend to drastically change year to year, depending on some years. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section below. I'm Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.